Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing my Project Pan 2020. I'm not going to do a 20 in 2020 or a Project 10 Pan or anything too specific, um, just because I am a mom and it, it does get a little difficult to juggle staying at home with, um, with my son. Don't you even think about it. My cat wants to, uh, join in here. Sit, stay, don't roll over. Um, okay. So either way, I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I am doing my project pan just based off of what I think needs to be, um, <laughs> Mufasa stay. Um, I'm just doing my project pan based off of what I want to get out of my collection or products that I want to try and see what I think about them. Um, this particular project is just makeup that I want to do. I will also be doing a separate skincare slash hair care slash body care. Like basically I'm going to separate makeup from everything else. Um, just because I thought it would be a little bit easier for me to organize my thoughts and also not have such a long video. Um, okay, so I'm just going to get started and go right in. First product in, and in no particular order. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My glasses are very reflective. Put them over here. So in no particular order, um, I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC25. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted. And this is what it looks like. There's already a good bit of a dip. Mufasa, come on now. It's already a good bit of a dip, if you can see that. <laughs> Go away. It's just makeup. Um, I have personally been preferring powder foundations just because, as a mom, it is very difficult for me to use up a liquid foundation because there's all the blending you have to do, making sure everything is even and etc. This is something very quick and easy that I can throw on. Um, I have already been through one of these before, so that's great. Um, I know it's doable. I know it can be done in a fair amount of time. So I'm going to do that. This is definitely something that I will continue to repurchase um, just because I know it works and it's got coverage that I'm okay with. And I am wearing all of these products for the most part today. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is this blush by NYX. It is in the color uh, 02 Dusty Rose. This already did have pan in it um, for me starting this project. Um, also for your guys' references, I did start my project in January. I'm gonna put that in quotes because um, I didn't post this in January. I'm only just getting around to filming a video for it now. That's okay. Um, but these pans, the pans that you already see have already existed before this project. So just so that we're aware, this is where I'm at right now with this blush. Um, I have had this product for a very long time and I, I do love it. And I would definitely continue to repurchase these blushes. Um, however, I do need to get a lot of blushes out of my collection first, but honestly, this is probably my favorite formula for blush. Just easy product to use, very silky smooth, has a nice sheen to it. The next product is this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. It is in the shade Bronzer. Again, this already had a, basically this amount of pan, um, and I am just trying to use this up. That And that's actually my goal for these products, is to use them up by the end of the year. Um, I do want this to be a rolling project, but at the same time, I want to make sure that all of the products that are really, really, really old get out first. So that is the bronzer that I have in here. The next product that I have, I have, I have no expectations that this will be even panned by the end of the year. Um, but it is my Wet n Wild highlighter, uh, the Mega Glow in 323B Botanic Dream. Um, I have made some progress in this, um, even though the pattern is still there, I have been wearing it off right about here. Um, so right now that's good enough for me. 
it is very very pink and I have realized like I I'm such um I'm a glutton for buying the products that are they're so so pretty to swatch but uh, I'm, I've definitely realized that I am more of a champagne or gold kind of highlight person, more champagne. And, um, pink is a little harder to wear sometimes. So I, I want to use up a highlighter. I don't think I will be able to finish it this year. Totally okay. But my goal is maybe to at least hit pan, even a baby one. The next product, um, in my project is an I don't know if I'll necessarily finish this or even if I want to finish it, but the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, this is in medium peach. And this is actually surprisingly a really good color for me. So I'm happy about that. Um, this is something that I use underneath the eyes um, and also kind of around my nose when I get uh, that like that redness going. I am wearing this today and just the tiniest little amount. I might also use this as like an eyeshadow primer um, because I've honestly been kind of gearing towards using concealers as primers more than using an actual primer. I don't really see the need for having all the different products in the world when you can easily kind of use up a product for multiple purposes. There's that one. Um, again, I'm not really exactly like expecting to finish it but maybe to make a dent in it also just a that's a product where i want to try it more and see how much i like it the next product is also by nyx this is the love in paris palette and again all of these that have pan have already had the pan in them but i'm currently working on this shade right here um there is a fair dip in there. I think you can kind of see it here. There's a fair dip. Um, this shade right here, I totally will be able to finish. I'm not doing a very good job at this right now. I'll totally be able to finish this. I'll totally be able to finish this. I'm working on this one. This is a really good crease color. These are some good warm tones. Um, thinking expand the pan here, hit pan on here. I'll definitely be able to finish these two. And then I definitely want to get some use out of these darker colors. I think they would be really pretty. I just have to give them the chance. Um, but yeah, so I figured I'd start with something that already had pan in it and see if I could finish a couple of shadows. Also, it's a it's an easy palette. It's just neutral, all browns, not a whole lot of fuss to it. So I think it's very, very doable. Um, get kind of an idea going around here. All right, I'm going to also throw this one in. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I'm only putting this in, it's not that I want to use it up, although I'm sure I will. This is more just because I want to get use out of it. This is not a very old product, which I'm happy about. Um, however, it is something that I want to just get more use out of and, and love it and enjoy it and have fun with it and just see how it works with my skin and the products that I'm using and all of that. Um, I do like that it is a pump. Uh, I think that makes it very easy and mess free. So I'm pretty excited about that product just to play around with it. Um, I will finish up all of the... No, I'll, I'm going to save lips for last because there's a product that I want to talk about. Um, for eyebrows, I have this MAC eyebrow pencil in Spiked. I am going to test this out really quick. Okay, so I cannot roll this back down, so I'm not even going to try. But it's just a, a, I mean, it's like a medium to dark brown, I would say. It's, I don't know if you could see, but it's a, it's a pretty good color, I think. It's what I'm wearing today. I think it works well for my natural hair color. Very thin. I do like this pencil. I've had it for a while um, and I will probably continue to repurchase this. I have no idea how far along I am. So my system is going to be basically based on tallies and just getting as much use as I can out of certain things. Um, I do have a feeling I will finish this though. My next product, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. 
in shade two. This is the mini size, so I would definitely like to finish this up. I do have the full size as well. Um, these actually came in a kit together. And this, um, I did learn, I think that shade two is just a, a hair too warm for me. So I might experiment and see if maybe shade three might be a better option. It is a little bit darker, but it's also slightly cooler toned. Um, I'm not worried about cool tones and warm tones when it comes to my makeup, but this just doesn't really match my hair very well. And it's, it's like slightly orangey to my eye. So I want to get rid of this and just use it up. Not old, actually fairly new from like the, um, maybe summer of last year or something. Um, next is another mini. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara in Very Black. And I actually just started using this again, started this in January. This is what the brush looks like. Um, I quite like the brush actually, very full, um, helps define my lashes. And also I'm not wearing false lashes today, but I think it does this really nice like flick with my lashes towards the end. So I do quite like that. Um, and again, I want to finish that because it is a mini. And for fragrance, I have this mini size uh, by Pink. It is sweet and flirty. It smells really good. It smells like lemonade. Yeah, it smells like pink lemonade. And the funny thing is when I got this, there was, um, I used to work at Victoria's Secret like when I was 18, so like 10 years ago. And there was a, a girl that came in and she was looking for this, but she was like, yeah, there's a scent that smells like pink lemonade. And I was like, I don't think we have a scent that smells like pink lemonade. And then she found it and it was this one. And it changed my life. I was like, oh my God, it does smell like pink lemonade. Um, but I love it. And I don't have very much to go. I'm actually pretty close to the bottom. This will be a no brainer. I'll totally be able to finish this. Um, it smells really good. So I know I'll enjoy it. I have had this since I worked at Victoria's Secret, so I've had this for 10 years. Surprisingly, it does not smell like alcohol yet, but it's probably because I've been storing my fragrances pretty well. Um, but I do want to finish this and get this out because I have so many body sprays and I just, I need to be done with them. And I'm, when it comes to fragrances, my goal is to basically find my signature scent. I will no longer be purchasing body sprays like ever again. And as delicious as this smells, I would probably only buy this again if I had no more perfume, I was desperate for something that smelled nice, or if this came in a perfume. But I'm pretty sure this entire line is all body sprays anyway. But that's kind of my thing. All the body sprays gotta go. So I'm starting with the ones that don't have very much left in them. This is one that I know I will enjoy the whole time, so reapplying will not be an issue. All right, my last product is lips, and in no particular order except the last product. So I, well actually I'll do two together because I'm wearing them both. Um, I have this MAC lip liner pencil in Beat, interesting. It's a very like berry color. As you can tell, this is actually, well, this is like a lighter version of what this crayon is. Let me swatch it. So it literally actually, that's a great name for it, beet. It looks like the color of beets. So I would say, I think I could finish this this year. Um, I would just have to use it basically every single day but I think it's possible. This is a limited edition pencil. I'm not sure if it's just the packaging or if it's the shade itself. I do like it. I like the combo. Um, and I'm pairing it today with this, um, is it, is it Mark Beauty? I don't know, but you know, like, so it's Mark, right? But I'm not sure if it's Mark Beauty or if it's just Mark, but this is in the color Honey, which is interesting. This is the Glow Baby Glow Hookup Lip Gloss. I think it's a little bit plumping and it's also a fairly easy color. 
to reapply. It does kind of smell funny, but not in like a it's gone bad kind of way. It smells like like the minty toothpaste at the dentist's office. <laughs> I know that's a really interesting smell, but that's what it smells like to me. And it does give me a little bit of a tingle, so I'm not sure if it's just supposed to have a sensory effect or if it is plumping, but either way, I do quite like this. I think it's a really easy color to wear, as you can see. I think it pairs beautifully with the lip liner. So, um, and again, this is a mini, so I want to get rid of this as well. This is a wonderful lip gloss, honestly. This is the NYX Mega Shine lip gloss in the color, what is this? Baby Rose. And I actually discovered, I'm like way down here with this product. Um, so you can kind of see the, uh, the light shining through. Um, I do really love this lip gloss, so I think once I can't get it on the wand anymore, I will definitely pull the stopper out so I can get everything, scrape the sides and all that, because I do love this. I have a couple other shades in this line, but this is such a great shade. Like, you could pair this over any single lip color, and I think it would be just fine. Um, so I know I can finish this up, so that's another finish it up product. For my lip balm, I'm using this Jersey Shore Sun Mongo, Mongongo Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. I'm pretty sure I got this in like an Ipsy bag a couple years ago. So um, I have recently figured out it is possible to finish up a lip balm, much like it is possible to finish up a pen. So this will definitely take some time, but I feel like I can finish this if I use it every single night, um, possibly every single day. Just depends on if I actually do my makeup. This is something I would wear without makeup, with makeup, doesn't really matter. And apparently, according to this little thing, it this is cruelty-free. I have no plans of going cruelty free per se. I I have realized that my definition of cruelty free is actually very different from what the actual definition is. And I think I'll get into that in a separate video just because I think I could talk about that for a little bit and I don't want to waste this video doing that. But yes, I think I can get through this in a year. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on this one. Now, my last product is another lip gloss. This was the original pick and it was just going to be this because I, I could have worn this alone. Um, this is the Lumesh lip gloss in Magali. It's a very pretty color. Um, this was my original pick. It's very, you know, kind of like a deep mauve pink kind of with some brown undertones there. However, when I went to wear this the very first time I started doing my Project Pan, I realized this is not something that I can actually comfortably put on my lips. I put it on the first time, I reapplied it a few times. It smells rancid. It's not just like a, oh, it smells funky because it's lip gloss kind of thing. It smells rancid like it has gone bad. This is at least 10 years old and it made my lips burn and very sensitive. So unfortunately, like I am not someone who likes to declutter things. I would much rather just be stubborn and use it all up even if it's expired. But I do have a limit to that as well. And my limit is that if it is physically affecting me, as in it is burning or it is making me sensitive or I am flaking or anything like that. If something like that happens, that's when I'm like, okay, this is, this has got to go. But I kept it around because I wanted to show this off in a video and I'm astounded. I, I knew that I actually had a lot of products that were expired expired but most of them are powders anyway so I can usually refresh them by spraying them down with alcohol making them a little bit more sanitary 
cream and liquid products are no joke when they expire you need to throw them out um now i with that being said i do think that the expiration dates given i'm sorry they're not even really expiration dates they're kind of like best buy dates um on products it's the like six months 12 months 24 months three months whatever that you find on packaging that little amount of time that you see in the little container on the packaging that is more of the companies trying to not get sued is basically what that is um that is their fail safe so that if something does happen after that amount of time like if you know if i have a lip gloss and it says it's good for six months if i use this after six months and then this burning thing starts happening well now that's not on the company that's on me because the company of the lip gloss said, hey, well, we said it was only good for six months. We all know products can last a lot longer than what they're told to us. Um, and they don't actually expire in that time frame. It also does come down to how you store your, your makeup and your fragrances and stuff like that as well. Um, but after that date that it gives you on the product, just keep in mind that it is at your own risk. So I knew this was really, really old. I went at it at my own risk. I don't even know what company Lumesh is. I think my dad got this from like Costco in a kit anyway, but it's, it's not good anymore. I'm going to throw this away. This is not something I can give away because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. This goes bye-bye. Um, with that being said, that's actually everything in my project pan. I'm not necessarily focusing on a full face of makeup because I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself to use up one product in every single category. You saw I have a couple lip glosses and a couple different lip products and a couple different face products, but I don't necessarily have one in every single category. Um, that's just how I want to do it. I These are the products I want to focus on and try to finish up or get to know. Um, so with that being said, this is going in the trash. I'm so glad I filmed this video so that I can do that because I, I can't, I can't put that on my face anymore. It's, it's just not good. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video. This is my Project Pan 2020. And um, if you liked it, go ahead and press the like button down below, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me your favorite product that you are looking forward to using up this year. Um, I would have to say the product I'm looking forward to using up this year is probably going to be this bronzer, just because I've had it for so long, and it does seem really, really warm and orange, but it actually, I'm wearing it today, I don't know if you could tell, but I, I actually think it looks really good on me. So I'm enjoying this product, but I will also be very happy to get it out of my collection because I do have a ton of other bronzers as well that I want to use. So thank you again so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun um, kind of picking out the products I wanted to use. I love watching Project Pan videos myself. And if you're a fan, um, again, definitely like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.